smoke food. What is the usual reaction when you smoke food? I get hungry, I get happy, and I go to sleep. That's, how can someone seriously take you serious if you high? I used to smoke it too, so I know what time it is. You stressed out, you probably only do is work, you go to school, you don't feel appreciated, you gotta do everything you gotta do, pay bills. It's stressful, I get it, but God said not to do that. wants us to do things that, like I said, it may not feel good, but we gotta do it. What? Give me 1 Corinthians, you got me, let's read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? So the black and Hispanic and Native American man are the temple of God. God's word is supposed to dwell inside of you. Now I know there's been times where you felt in your spirit that things were wrong, but you were still doing it. You know what I'm talking about? You know you felt this out your spirit. Like, I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm still doing it. You know what that's called? The flesh fighting against the spirit. You understand? So let's read that again. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you? And the spirit of God is supposed to dwell inside of us. If God says don't steal, and you try to steal, the spirit's going to say, bro, stop. That's called God consciousness. You know how they talk about in the, in the black community, the, the, the conscious community, this is God consciousness. Right. When you read God's commandments, he tells you not to do it, and you go against it, there's something in child telling you, nah, bro, don't do that. Nah, sis, don't do that. God is filling you with his conscience, not for you to do what you want to do, or what he told you to do, like smoking weed. A lot of us like to smoke the weed. Huh? You don't smoke? You smoke. That, that part's kind of obvious. Okay, okay, you smoke. Now, are we supposed to be smoking the weed? I'm not gonna share what I believe about that. I'm not gonna share what I believe about that, but I, I, I don't really see a problem with it. Why not? I don't do anything that'll harm anybody. But you're harming yourself. I don't feel that way. Okay, now when you smoke weed, what is the usual reaction when you smoke weed? I get hungry, I get happy, and I go to sleep. Okay, now when you inhale smoke, what usually happens when you inhale smoke? It goes to my lungs. It goes to your lungs. What usually happens? You call Sometimes. You cough, right? Yeah. Because it's not supposed to be there. You know what I'm saying? So now when we smoke weed, you know what you're, you're allowing us to read that again? Now, know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Keep on. If any man defile the temple of God, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Him shall God destroy. Now think about this. A lot of our brothers and sisters, we get caught up in weed. And do we grow up smoking weed? Did you, was you five years old smoking weed? Did you need it? Nah. But when we get older, we start using it to eat. I can't smoke. If I don't smoke, I, I'm not gonna be able to sleep. If I don't smoke, I'm not gonna be able to function at my job. If I don't smoke, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I don't have an appetite. We made weed replace our natural design. As men, you know what happened to us? We have not been made comfortable in society. We're not supposed to be comfortable in this society. This is our land of our captivity. Right. We did not come here on the love boat. Well, how did we get to this country? Slavery. We came here on slave ships, right? We didn't come here on a private jet. You know how they got white people talking about how they came here on Ellis Island? We didn't come that way. We came here on chattel slave, on chattel slave ships. You understand? And from there, a lot of things happen to us. Read that real quick, Titus 2 for the men. This is the book of Titus chapter 2 and verse 2. The aged man, be sober. The black man is made to be sober because he needs to know how to function in this world. The black man needs to know how to function properly. We have been not told how to function properly in America. Because when you look at the black man today, when you look at the condition, I want you to really love when you look at sick of the condition of the black man in America, is it right? It's sick. The condition of the black man in America is sick. Look at that. We sick. The bus is coming in the street. We are sick people. You understand? Read that again. Read. That the age man be sober, grave, serious. 
Because a lot of times, you know what they take the black man as what? A joke. This world takes the black man as a joke. Lock him up. He don't care about his wife. He don't care about his woman. Just treat him as hoes. That's all they are as hoes. You understand? Just treat the black man as somebody who just, he's just gonna go to jail anyway. You understand? So because you are the head of the house. As a man, you are the head of the house. And how can someone take you seriously if you hide? Hey. You know what I'm saying? How can someone really, that's, how can someone seriously take you serious if you hide? I used to smoke it too, so I know what time it is. You stressed out, you probably all you do is work, you go to school, you don't feel appreciated, you gotta do everything you gotta do, pay bills. It's stressful, I get it. Hey. But God said not to do that. He told you, give me that in Psalms. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 9. Where with all shall a young man cleanse his way uh -huh. by taking heed thereto according to thy word. No, he got to take, take heed to the weed. According to thy word. To the purple. According to thy word. To the exotic. According to thy word. To thy word we're supposed to take, to take heed to. But I, but my brother, let me ask you this. When we smoke the weed, are we really focusing on what we got to get accomplished? Maybe you don't. Huh? You Maybe. do? Very much. Okay, so what is the goal to you? What are your goals? Five got year plan. Five year plan. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I got two kids to take care of. Two kids. Are you married? Not anymore. Okay. How long were you married for? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. Okay. Same mom, same, same huh? kids for the same woman? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. So five years from now, at least need to be able to financially be able to take care of anything that I can. That, like, that, that's literally the only plan for right now. Because of how much I got on my shoulders and how much I got on my plate, that's the only thing that I am able to make happen at this very point in time. Make sure my finances are taken care of so my kids don't have to worry. Now, my thing is this. We all gotta make, everybody, you see everybody here? We all work. But you see that we still here doing this? Yeah. This is our main profession. That's right. You understand? We all work here. You can't say none of us here, bum. We all got jobs. But our main profession is to get our people right. But we got to get ourselves right first. I couldn't come here and teach you about smoking weed if I still smoke weed, right? Right. I'll be a, what would I be? Exactly. So we're not going to talk to you off of things that we never experienced. So we teach you things that you got to get right first because we did it first. You understand? It's the book of Titus chapter 3 verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. So it was foolish for us to call ourselves Jamaicans because we were brought to the land of Jamaica as slaves. You understand? Keep reading. Disobedient. And we were disobedient to what God told us to do. Keep on. Deceived. We were deceived. Serving diverse lusts and pleasures. Serving diverse lusts and pleasures. One of those lusts is weed. One of those lusts is porn. That's another lust. Another lust is sleeping from women to women. That's a lust. Because God said we always have one life. You understand? So God says that we have been deceived and we're serving diverse lusts. But now what are we supposed to do? Give me Matthew 6, verse 33. Now, before we make the money, we got to make the money in righteousness. Because you can say, oh, I need to make money. But you can make money selling drugs. Can't you? You can, be, you can make money being a scammer. I've seen all different ways that you can scam Wouldn't be an option I choose. Huh? Wouldn't be an option I choose. Okay, all praise. I'm glad. But what makes you know not to do that? I don't know. There's a feeling in my chest that tells me not to do it. Say again? It's just a feeling in my chest that tells me not to do it. There's a feeling in your chest now. There are certain things that us black and Hispanic men have known that tell us not to do certain things. But now we have to establish ourselves in the in in the words. You understand? Because we can always have a feeling of because there's a lot of people think that love is love. You know what I mean? When people say love is love, what do you mean? They say love is love. And that may be a feeling. A lot of people think that a man and a man laying down having sex is marriage. You understand? But that's their feeling. But you understand what I'm saying? Just because you feel something doesn't make it true. Exactly. So that's why we gotta go with the word. You understand? There's certain things that you may have a feeling for, but God says it's not right. You right about that? But my sense of right and wrong was given to me from him, so I don't think that I'm wrong about it. Now think about this. I, I know I know that even me smoking weed is wrong. So that means you do something right? Of course. So now, what is it? Eventually I'm going to stop. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm going to have to. What is the nation? Nation is family. 
nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 